of the annual quadrangular tournament is about to be written on this, the 97th occasion that the tournament has been hosted in the home team, Wellington College, hosting Whanganui Collegiate. 38 titles, Wellington College have won. 21 Collegiate have won, and they both bring outstanding form into this final. ...of Wellington College earlier on. In our coverage, the first 15 caps, which signify a seniority of which some of these players carry, Wellington College. Haka from Maganui Collegiate and of course from Wellington College and Piri Wepu, one of the greatest All Black Haka leaders of all time, part of the coaching staff here at Wellington College. 71 tests including a memorable 2011 World Cup and to his left, former All Black prop near Mia Te Lata. 44 tests from the big fella. No shortage of quality and of course Tafai Yoasa, the head coach of Collegiate with a wonderful CV in our sevens game and based on what we saw on Tuesday what a team and what a job he's done with Whanganui Collegiate the Wellington College right to the left on your screen and they win the ball from the kickoff as well Jason Gerbs Bremner off the back, Jack Riley, the co-captain, gets over the advantage line. It's a nice carry from the captain. Now the pick and go. A couple of strong rucks. And good work from O'Leary. They try to counter and stop, but they still maintain control. Wellington College. A little decoy play, and then Fatala with a tip on there. A chance on the left edge. Wellington College, seven metres out. Now Bremner, two decoy runners, they shift. Now Lupo, great field position, Wellington College, they need the ball. Jack McCarthy off the quick tap. Sims, a little tip on Jacob Kennedy. A quick tap. And a fabulous backdrop provided by the supporters, mainly students. You get the choice to go to biology or science or come to the footy, it's not a hard decision. <laughs> college. Two strong hit ups. And now Sims for some field position. Noah Yoasa. Monty Sheriff. Oh, lovely little tip on for Tali Yoasa coming off the right foot. Good carry. Yoasa. Now McDermott, a first receiver. Now Sheriff. Manamanai Valu for Johnston. O'Leary down that left side. And then they lose Henry the Bremner. Again, their first phase they carry through Hotai. Ezekiel Hotai. Bremner from the base of the ruck. Not taken on the full. And then it's continued, and Jacob Kennedy down the right edge. They're not going to run him down. 
Two tries on Tuesday, two tries on Thursday. He's got the hot hands and the hot feet. Jacob Kennedy. <laughs> Your spirit fingers from the Wellington College. Let's see if it works. Here we go. Sims from, uh, yes, that looks all right. Yes. <laughs> Get those fingers out, boys. <laughs> what a start from Wellington College in the final 12-0. It's away from Lupo. Now Yoasa, McDougal. Latest. Lovely ball for Mabin. He's in the backfield. Mabin one-on-one -on -one with the fullback. Faitala. Big tackle from Faitala. Ball and all on a much bigger opponent. And now Hardy. James Hardy with a big carry. Penalty advantage. Yoasa. Now they shift. They got a three on two down the left side and big defense. Don't forget there's a penalty advantage with Collegiate. Now they change. McCarthy. They go with a quick tap. With a little double pump. Offload in the tackle. Sam Braddock. Might have got picked for a high tackle as Hardy. So sustained pressure from Collegiate. Johnson, long ball out for Sheriff. Sheriff! They're back in it. Nice. Yoasa just inside the near post. He's a quality young kid. No, Yoasa playing in the 10 jersey. Line out time. Now Noah Yoasa. Tali Yoasa to the line of ball. Went forward. Foot for an inside run and now the pick and go from Mana Manaivalu. Quality player. Mana Manaivalu. Good carry. Noah Yoasa. Long in midfield and Mabin onto the ball. Beautiful try, it's a quality ball play from Latus at lock to number four to Mabin running in a hole, number five. Great. That's hard working, little row forwards, Mana, Manai Valu, he's tricky this kid, terrific runner. You know, Sam McDougall, oh they concede. They made all the difference in the last kick. And they made it. <laughs> now McDougal. Long and those locks working together in the midfield. Latest. Over the advantage line now. Yoasa standing left. Brings it back to the right side. Johnson. Manamanaivalu with a ball in two hands. Short ball for O'Leary. And they're going to be rewarded. Beautiful set play. The continuity and the ability of Whanganui keep the ball alive and back up. That's a great try. No, your answer, that was the big play. Stood on the left side and swung the ball back to the right. And what about that for a conversion? Who's the pilot? O'Leary. O'Leary, the it? number eight, well, ex winger. Aspiring pilot. He's only flying with an instructor at the moment, but a helicopter pilot. It's going to be a ride home after the game to one <laughs> Another position. Chance there, arm. And now the line out drive. They've gone to ground. Yawasa. His brother was big, strong, powerful run. The ball away in the tackle. The confidence, the skill and the poise all on display. Firstly, Noah Oasa choosing to pass. And then Tali Oasa, the second 5'8". For Whanganui, Jimmy Peacock will slot over. It's a credit to his hard work around the paddock head prefect for the Harvey House. Beautifully placed kick 
from Collegiate. And to put Wellington back in their own half. And Faitala with some brilliant footwork. Gets the kick away. <laughs> Brings a thrilling and entertaining end to the opening. First half of the 97th annual quadrangular final. With collegiate ahead of Wellington College, 26 points to 15. Welcome to the sideline, and I found an old boy of Wellington Cole, a legend, a former crusader himself, Mr. Ace Titi of Marola Masoli. How are you? Marola It's good to be here. It's good to be back at the old stopping ground where it all started, uh, and good to see the uh, the footy being played by the kids. First of all, you look young enough to be out there with these other, with these kids, but you know, it's a great event. Uh, can you remember your time when you were playing this? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been awesome. It's been 30 years since I've been here, and it's been uh, 30 years of reminiscing in terms of how this awesome uh, tournament is so important to our kids, especially mm. our rugby kids, especially for the youth that are aspiring to be able to play at this level. This is a, a, a stepping stone to, to so much more, so it's great to be able to come back and be able to see the kids playing at such a great level of footy. And they are a tiny school by comparison to Wellington College, and they lead at half-time, so... As we say in sport, there it is. It's the second half underway. And Wellington College. The first use of the ball. Right, two strong carries from the kickoff. And now Faitala standing immediately behind the halfback. Yoasa anticipating the kick. Now Yoasa on the return. Long 20 metre cutout ball for Johnson. A one on one of Hotai. Back to the right side this time for Tali. Yoasa, what a game. He's having Yoasa with another offload in the tackle. Back on the inside, and that ball lost forward, but for certain it looked like Morton. Would have been earned, but the athleticism of Tali Yoasa, the number 12, is on display today. Yoasa, Johnston. Whoa, it's been intercepted. He's going to get three tries, Kennedy. The chase is coming. But he has been the form outside back at the 97th quadrangular tournament. All by himself. He's the one that took the risk, the conversion. From Sims is on point. Sheriff. Now the pick and go. Tali Oasa with a little goose step. Steps out. A brilliant try. He's been the dominant player on the park, in my view. Tali Oasa with the size, his athleticism, and his skill. Sims. Israel Time. Big carry from Time. Right in front of the post. They're coming from the right wing. Yeah, on the wraparound loop ball. Such a big ball carrier for them. Cook. I don't know. I don't know. Two and a half meters out, Wellington. They go down the left side. Loop ball. In between a couple of defenders. And now they get their drive. Going Wellington College. The referee says yes. A popular try in front of their loyal supporters. When he comes out, but remember, I had talked about Donny Iono. Never played rugby up until two years ago. And I think he's... The crowd will tell you 31 27 becomes 31 29 with five and a half on the clock. It's Noah and Tali. Noah with the ball. Tali. A beautiful late board. And now it's called for forward. Fine lines. Oh, I mean, it's been amazing this week. 
every game has pretty much gone down to the wire. This one, the final for 2023, does not look any different. Good scrum. Riley. 8 9 play down the right side. It's and a kick down from Cook. Late tackle. Ooh. A conversation between Sims. He's got to go for it. He just had a conversation with the referee. We don't have microphones down there, but I'd suggest that Archie just ask the referee how long. And what could be an enormous kick and a defining moment in 2023 at this, the 97th annual quadrangular tournament. One of the biggest moments in this young kid's life and it's only sport. Archie Sims! What about that? With less than a minute on the clock, the supporters and a great tackle from Bosha. Collegiate, again they shift. Mana Manovalu, Yoasa. Long cut out ball. Now they're into their opponent's half. Braddock with the tackle. Beautiful inside ball, Yoasa. Offloads again in the tackle. The ball's lost forward. Wellington College are going to win. They're going to win the 97th. Quadrangular tournament and for the 39th time they will be crowned champions in one of those games where it doesn't deserve to be a loser but the cruelness of sport says there has to be and Wellington College 32-31 and there's Pity Wepu coach Niamia Tilata director of coaching couple of All Blacks in charge. Congratulations, Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> Thursday, Tuesday, you did it. Oh. You've done it again. How do you feel? Mate, I don't even know what to say. God, I don't even have my breath, eh? All I can say is the boys just put everything out there. When I say everything, I mean, I mean everything, eh? Coming in as the underdogs, there's nothing more we could have done. Just, I don't even know what to say, eh? I mean, first time in, I think, nine years with a whole new team, only three, three caps. It's just, I can't even believe we pulled it off, mate. It's just something, something going down in history, eh? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.